Okay, today's not an electronic video. This one is how to save yourself hundreds of dollars by not having to call a plumber to repair a broken drain on a kitchen sink. So we're gonna change the, the drain strainer and uh, get it all fixed up. Mine rusted through and started leaking and finally broke. So this is a quick way to do this. It's not hard, anybody can do it. You can save yourself hundreds of dollars by doing it yourself. Today we're gonna change the drain on my kitchen sink because uh, it's developed a leak. What's happened is the actual um, brass, actually the base of this is actually leaking. So it's gonna be corroded through. I've already gone to the trouble of completely draining the trap and everything so that there's not gonna be a bunch of water everywhere. But keep in mind that when you do this, the uh, trap is going to be full of water and you're going to have to use a bucket because otherwise you're going to get water everywhere. I've already done that. I've already contained the mess. So let's get to, let's get started with changing this piece. So I've gone to the plumbing store and I've got myself a new replacement. This is the piece that we're going to change. So this is standard, they're all standard size kitchen sink strainer. It'll come with a new gasket and they're, they're pretty much all stainless steel these days. But there's the piece that we're going to replace. And I also need a new, the, the original one's probably okay but I got a new four inch sink tail piece as it's called. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit this. onto the base of the sink strainer. The nut goes on like that. Be sure you put your gasket in, otherwise it's going to leak. And then fit the pieces together and tighten accordingly. With a wrench, of course. Now this is held onto the, the sink by this large nut, which we can spin off. I'm going to remove the, the uh, before doing that, I'm going to go down and remove the pipe from below. So I've already loosened off, I've already loosened off the, uh, the trap and I've drained it all. This is where it's broken, it's up here. It's leaking out of here. Well, you can see it's actually broken completely now. So we're going to remove this piece. Let's say that piece is already broken. That was, I've already drained this. So we'll remove the, the old piece from the old drain. We'll remove the plastic washer and the nut. And I'm going to remove the old strainer to break the seal. And we're going to have to remove the old gasket material from this and clean up the inside of the sink before putting the new one in place. So once the old strainer is removed, we're going to clean up the remnants of the old uh, caulking that was around here so the new gasket can seal. I'll tell you a story why I like driving a plug-in hybrid car as opposed to say a full electric. Well I drive a Volt which is a full electric until the battery runs out but when I pulled into the Rona they have a charging station there and I have been driving around all day and I had about uh, five kilometers of range left with about eight kilometers to get home so I figured I would plug in and get a charge. Well I get there there's four charge cords. One charging station is completely out of service dead completely. The other charging station has got a Tesla on it. So I go to the other side, I scan my card, go to plug it in, it's broken. Now had I been driving like a, a Bolt or a Leaf or any other electric car that did not have a backup, I'd be screwed. I'd have to sit there and wait until that guy got off the one working station in order to get enough charge to get home. But I drive a Volt, so not a big deal. And that's one of the reasons I would never drive a full electric car. For me, it's a plug-in hybrid or nothing. So for those that are against the plug-in, plug-ins are great because you're electric all the time, but when you need it, you've got a backup and there's no waiting around for someone else to clear the only charger that's working, if there are any, and that's a big advantage. So we put the silly putty around the, uh, the drain stopper, on where the drain fits. On here there's a rubber gasket and there's a fiber gasket that goes on below it and then this just drops into the sink like this 
we're going to press it down and then we're going to put the nut on from below and tighten it up. On the bottom side, we'll put the locking nut on and tighten it up. And this has got to be put on tight because this is what's going to seal the, uh, the drain into the base of the sink. So let me just get this threaded on and tightened up. So this is about the hardest part of this entire operation is tightening this up. You want to make sure, that, because this is the seal for the drain. I'm going to get a wrench on there and tighten that up. In this case, plumber's pliers will have to do. And then we'll tighten this up. We've got to tighten it up so that it squeezes the putty out all the way around on the top. And then we'll uh, attach the pipe. I'm just going to get the camera out of here so that I can actually get in here and do the job. As it gets tight, it's going to cut off the excess putty as the uh, seal is made. So you can peel off the excess putty here. On the bottom side, we're going to put on our... In this case, I'm reusing the gasket. I would recommend replacing with a new one. I forgot to pick one up. I got lucky this one didn't leak, but if it was damaged, I'd be making another trip back to the store to get another one. And we'll get our pipe back in place here. We're going to bring the pipe up level with the drain at the bottom down here and attach it, tighten it up and then do the same thing on the top for the top nut and over here on the carburetor. Tighten this one up. Yeah, carburetors, that's something you don't see much anymore because with all the green bins and stuff now, they don't want you putting stuff down the drain, but uh, it's an old house that was put in when the house was built comes in handy but it's the bane of my existence because I have people in the house that put things down there that shouldn't go down and they clog my drain up all the time when it breaks it's going we're gonna put a wrench on that tighten it up tighten all of them up and uh, then fill the sink with water and see if we have any leaks and that's how you change a kitchen sink drain <laughs>